Uh, we are now joined by Holly Nicosia from the Orient Art Center. Uh, as a matter of fact, she's the director over at the Art Center. Welcome. Thanks, Joe. When did you uh, officially become director at the Art Center? It was November this year, right before the holiday market. That was oh, my okay. first big to-do for the Art Center. <laughs> yeah, so. so how are you liking it? How, how I you love like it. I really, it? really like it. It's a good mix of everything, my past experience in advertising and art and community relations. And it's it's probably my favorite job I've had so far. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a, a great uh, resource to have here in the community. Mm -hmm. I mean, not a lot of communities have their very own art center, and here we have this great resource, not only for exhibit space, but mm -hmm. classes and all that stuff. Kind of talk about, mm -hmm. in a nutshell, what the art center offers to the community. I say that a lot, too, about not every community has an art center like this, but um, we do have a lot of um, exhibitions that happen throughout the year where local artists can put their work up and we always have um, opening nights where they come out and you've joined us a few times where they get to showcase their, their work and um, most of those shows are award shows where they're winning money for, for entering. And we also have our pottery studio and our painting studio which have grown significantly since the pandemic um, is kind of in the rear view. Um, our pottery studio, I think we have about 75 members now. Um, oh. And we're bringing people in from Clarkson and Rochester, Oxford, it's not just the Lake Warren community, it's something that there's a need throughout this area for a, a pottery studio, so um, that's really growing, and um, we're very proud of the work we've done there over the past couple of years. That's great. Is that over mm -hmm. at Moose Tree? Yep, that's Talk old. about that relationship <laughs> you have with the Moose Tree Preserve. Um, it's the old Moose Tree Preserve at Weber Elementary, and it's great. I mean, the trails are still there. We have people that use the trails and come up and kind of just find us in the pottery studio, not expecting to have an art studio there, but um, you know, the students in the district still have an opportunity to use the trails and then we open our doors to them to, you know, use as a, a meeting point and restrooms and it's still part of the school district and, I, you know, going forward it will always be part of the stu school district's building, but we have a great relationship with them and it's fun having the kids come in and out and um, the teachers, they all were, most of them were students that utilized it when they were um, in school, so it's fun to see them come back and use it with their students. I haven't been there in a couple of years. Is there still a lot of wild animals on display? Nope. We've, we've oh, you got rid of the taxidermy? We've slowly gotten rid of the, the moose and the deer, <laughs> and uh, um, it's great for uh, artistic inspiration for, you know, a couple of years, but there's only so many deer you can paint. So, yeah, no, those have slowly, we've donated a lot of it to nature centers, oh, and um, we try to find groups that we can give this stuff to. So I recently went into the basement of the Moose Tree Preserve, and there are about 200 fish tanks there that used to house the animals. And I'm like, what do we do with all these wow. fish tanks? So yeah, we're kind of sourcing those out now too. All right, so. I might have to pay <laughs> a visit. <Let's laughs> we have fish tanks. <laughs> <laughs> I put those to use. Yeah. Uh, so we have a deadline quickly mm -hmm. approaching at the end of this week. The Joan Brace mm -hmm. Scholarship was just named after one of the original founders of the Orient Arts Center. Uh, what, what year was the f center founded? Like 1970? Something nine, I believe. Nine. I think so. officially it was eighty-one, but it started in in seventy-nine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Joan Brace is one of the uh, the founding members of the Art Center. Mm -hmm. The scholarship is named in her honor. Talk about how the scholarship works. How do students uh, submit work to be considered for the scholarship? Yeah. Yep. So this is our scholarship show, and we actually have three awards this year. It's the Joan Brace Scholarship, the Sirowski Award, and the Daryl Enikin Award. So there's three different categories or three awards you can win at this show and it's open to any graduating senior that will be attending college in the fall um, that will pursue art in any form of art teacher or marketing with like a graphic design background any type of um, or BFA any art degree um, and you can go on our website and there's a tab on there for Joan Brace Award and you can um, submit your work there there's a questionnaire that you fill out to be accepted into the show um, and then um, we'll set up a time for you to drop off your art and your um, welcome to come to the opening exhibition, which is ap actually April 26. Right. So what kind of media is accepted? All medias, oh, all wow. media forms, yep, yep. We really wanna um, reach out to all um, graduating seniors in the area, so um, all the surrounding communities of Clarkson and Oxford have submitted work too, so. So with the three different awards, mm -hmm. Does each award look at something specific or like do they have to meet certain criteria for each award or how, how is it determined who the winners are? So there's a judging rubric with most of our shows um, and we depend on our judges to kind of come up with the, their 
their criteria on it, um, but each one has a different um, criteria because there are different monetary values. Um, so, um, but our judges have most of that planned out. So the deadline is this Friday, the 17th. Yep. Is, is there a time? Is it the end of the day, that sort of thing? Midnight. We'll say midnight. Midnight <laughs> yes. on Friday. Yes. So if you're a graduating high school student uh, who's going to pursue a uh, post-high school career in, in mm -hmm. arts, uh, submit your work. Is there a, a cap of how many pieces can be submitted? You can submit up to three pieces. Three pieces. Yep. So And they bring those to the Arts Center? Yep, they'll bring it and it'll be open for the exhibition on the 26th and it runs until May 20th. So we'll have different dates throughout the month where people can come in and, and view the art. Okay, mm -hmm. and on the 26th, uh, is that when they're gonna announce who won yep, what? exactly. That's exciting. Yeah. I'll be there. All right, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> Yeah. And this is the first time we've brought it back since the pandemic, so we're excited oh, just to welcome. I know I've told you in the past that student work is really something we're passionate about and yeah. just getting the young artists involved in the community and being able to showcase their talents. Yeah, just recently we had the, the middle school mm -hmm. show, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. And the, co the comment that I heard more than anything else is people were, adults were looking at this work going, these kids are more talented than anything I can do. It's really impressive to see the level of talent there. Yeah, definitely. When I was, the teachers were bringing it in, I was thinking like, all right, are these are sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. So it, yeah. it's it's impressive that the art programs that Lake Orion has in their school are just, you know, top notch. Yeah, yeah, great teachers over mm -hmm. there. Um, coming up soon, we got beautiful weather out there, so thoughts turn toward the flower and art fair, or this year, the art and flower fair. <laughs> um, talk about that. I'm, I'm kind of excited that that's coming back again this year. Yeah, so we're super excited for it too. We're gonna have close to 100 vendors, um, and we're really amping up our children's um, programming this year to get a lot of the younger families to come out. We have two different nature centers that are gonna have um, children's programming throughout the weekend. Um, we have live artists demonstrations this year. We're gonna have a wood carver and a painter and potters that you can actually see them doing their work during, uh, during the weekend. Um, and of course, we'll have flowers and art there. We have a beer tent Saturday night that we're gonna have live music. Um, and to kick it all off, we have a Friday night mystery art stroll too. So. Oh, wow. Describe mm -hmm. that. How does that work? So the Mystery Art Stroll, um, we're really excited about this. Last year was the first year we did it, and there's 10 businesses in downtown Lake Orion that will feature local artists. Um, their work will be there. And as the guests go around from business to business, they are figuring out clues on the artwork. And um, at the end of the scavenger hunt, we're, everyone's going to meet over at um, MSB uh, Fitness Studio, the rooftop where they have the dragon mural painted yeah, on the building, yeah, really and we're going to have a reception there. Um, you'll hand in your clue sheet, and we're going to have um, cocktails and uh, appetizers, live music there. There's going to be a henna artist and giveaways. We have raffles for bikes from MSB, um, and that's uh, a ticketed event. That's fifty dollars to come and do that, and that all the benefits, um, all that goes to benefit the art center. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the uh, art fair, that the, the money is raised through what, vendor fees primarily? Yeah, bas basically that and then the beer tent um, oh, yeah. that, that sells from that, but yeah, it's mostly the vendors. But residents are free to stroll the uh, streets of, of downtown course. Lake Orion, Of right? course, and of course we have our sponsors too that are sponsoring, oh, <laughs> sponsoring the event. We um, are able to put it on through that, so. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the biggest fundraisers yeah. of the year. Obviously, the really big <laughs> one is later in the summer, yeah. the uh, Dragon on the Lake. Uh, you could talk about that a little bit, but mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll have you back oh, yeah. before uh, that rolls around. But what would you say the difference is between the art fair and Dragon on the Lake? Well, this is, we always say this is like our warm up, getting us ready, you know, getting the streets ready with the vendors. The difference are, is the dragon boat racing, mm -hmm. obviously, <laughs> and then the, um, we have three nights of music for Dragon on the Lake. It's just a bigger community event, but um, we like to have a, a warm up to get to that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, you're looking for something to do, take advantage of this warm weather, get mm -hmm. out there. Uh, I'm sure the Art Center will be open during the Flower Fair, or will it? It should be, yeah, and we will have um, another exhibition during that time. Mm -hmm. Or uh, the, I'm sorry, the Joan Brace will still be going up until that weekend. So we'll oh, be able to see weekend. student right. work at that point. Yeah, it's really amazing to see the, the grounds over there by the Art Center evolve. Of course, mm -hmm. you've got the beautiful walking bridge that takes people over to Paint Creek Trail. Mm -hmm. But I love the, uh, the butterfly art sculpture that's out in front of the Art Center. That's really something to see. What a great photo opportunity. It's really great. Yeah. 
Yep, and we actually brought over the dragon. I don't know if you've noticed it in the mm -hmm. past. It was in the back of the art center, and then during ice golf this year, we brought it into the front, and that's also a good little photo op, and yeah. um, people really like that. Yeah, so if you haven't been, go check out yeah. the Art Center. If someone wants more information, how do they go about finding out information about the Art Center? Our website, orionartcenter.org, we actually have a brand new website. The past few weeks it's launched, so um, all of our classes are on there. Um, you're able to sign up for our newsletters, um, to be a sponsor, to be a volunteer, to become a member. It's all right there, and we he rely heavily on volunteers, so that's a good spot to sign up and let us know your interest if you want to come help us out with any of the events or even groundskeeping at the Art Center. We have volunteers for everything. After the uh, Joan Brace exhibit, do you have more exhibits planned throughout the rest of the year that artists from the community can submit their work in? We do. We don't have a schedule posted yet. Um, we kind of take a break after um, Art and Flower to get ready for Dragon on the Lake, and mm -hmm. then in the fall we'll kick off with uh, another series of um, shows, which I think the next one will be Portraits and Pottery, which is oh, always a, a really one, yeah, yeah. It's a fun one to enter. Yeah. I've always thought about submitting, you have a, a, a photography show, mm -hmm. or at least the Art Center has in the past, and I've always thought about submitting something, and I never do, and one of these days, I'm going to submit something, uh, a show at the exhibit, that'll be fun. You should, it's a really fun time. It's fun to get your friends and family to come out and like see on the wall, this is me with my name, and we have artists that enter of all skill levels, too. Mm -hmm. It's not... Um, you know, it doesn't have to be your fine art major. You, you know, people have talents, and it's good to showcase them at every level. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you submit something, if there's cash prizes, yeah. right? Yes, that's exciting. There is. So, all right. Anything we're missing? Anything else you want to talk about that's happening at the art center? Um, I, you know, I think we we cover a lot. We're very busy <laughs> right yeah. now. Um, one of the newer things we have are um our scout uh, troops, um, field trips, where the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts or the Cubs can come out and do art projects to earn their badges. And that's on the website too. That's really picking up steam and becoming a popular um, uh, program at the Art Center. With the Nature Center and the Scouts, it's just a natural good place to have these events. And that's a perfect mm -hmm. segue because uh, we have a, a scouting organization that comes here to this studio at Olin TV. Uh, they completed their first season of shows uh, in December, and now they just kicked off their new season of shows with their first episode of the year. And here's a little snippet from their show uh, that uh, talks about uh, a female Eagle Scout, which doesn't happen very often. So, uh, Holly, thanks for joining us. Thanks yeah. for talking about the Art Center. I'm sure I'll see you soon.